Hi and welcome back to this channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add a carousel slider with Bootstrap version 5. In the previous video, I showed you how to add this responsive navigation bar. And now in this video particularly, I'm going to show you how to add this slider as you can see here. So with uh, the images sliding and then this text on the images here. So the first thing we need to do is to go to Bootstrap version 5 website side and uh, we are going to copy and paste the carousel slider code uh, already designed by bootstrap so click on docs click on component and scroll down here you have carousel and when you scroll down you have a list of all the codes that you would want to copy and paste on a particular project for example here we can have a slider with only slides or you can have a code where you'll be able to have a slider with controls or a slider with indicators. But as for us, we are going to have uh, copy this code here with captions, okay? So all you have to do is to click on the button copy and then paste it inside your project. So I'm going to close this, come back here. So now after you've copied and pasted this portion of code that you we have taken from Bootstrap version 5 website, we can now customize this code in order for it to look like what we want it to look like. So the first thing I'm going to do is to add um, an image. Okay, so I'm going to say images. So I need to know what image am I going to put here. So let me go to my project. Uh, directory in images folder I have all the images in my project so I'm gonna choose image 8 so I'm gonna say image 8 here just click on it so after doing that I am now going to add another div that will allow us to put the buttons on the slider so I will say div class and uh, this particular class I'm going to call it a uh, slider button like this and inside the div I'm going to add a button tag so for this class I will say button I will add the second class I will say button one and uh, here I will say our services. Let me just copy this and paste it down here like this. Button 2 and let me remove this text and I will say get a quote for example. So you can put any text that you want on these particular buttons. As for me, I'm choosing our services and get a quote. So I'm going to do the same thing, okay, uh, attaching the image and then adding the button to the other carousel item. Okay, so I will copy this and scroll down to the second carousel item here, then paste it like this. The image, I'll add another image, I'll say images, uh, which image, let me say image 9, for example. For the third carousel item, I will do the same thing, I will copy and paste the slider button and then add the image like this. Let me say this, then save. So that is it concerning the HTML part of my code. So now if I refresh the page, as you can see, yeah, I have the slider. So now I'm going to add some CSS code in order to customize the slider. So the first class that I'm going to style will be carousel item and I will say height or 100 VH minimum height 300 pixels background for no repeat scroll center scroll like this and I will say web kit background size let's say cover or I should simply add a background uh, size like this and say cover. So the second thing I'm going to say, um, let me save this and refresh the web page. Okay, now this is how my slider is looking like. So um, I want to add some um, background overlay on the on these images. So what I'm going to write is carousel item again. And I will say colon and before like this content display block position absolute top zero left zero bottom zero as well and right 
zero so the color so i would say background this is actually going to be the color of this overlay i will give it the color black and add some opacity mm, let's say 0 0.7 so this is going to add some overlay to the images so yeah as you can see here now we have like a dark overlay in order to uh, make sure that the text is going to show properly so next class we're going to add is going to be the carousel caption so the caption here is the text showing on the slider so I wanted to bring it a little bit at the top so I would say bottom 180 pixels and pardon or uh, what pardon I'm gonna, I'm gonna say pardon left and save yeah so now as you can see the text has come a little bit at the top so I think I need to add some pardon right as well and I'll say 100 okay so this next thing i'm going to say carousel caption h5 i need to give it a font size let me say 100 pixels then save okay this is how it's looking like uh, what should i add i think i will add a font weight so i need it to be a little bit bigger and thicker so let me say 700 like this then refresh yeah now it's looking a little bit okay the second the next element to customize will be the paragraph so i'll say carousel caption still and the tag p i will increase the font size of the writing as well um 18 pixels i guess this will be okay and then a top then refresh all right then finally, I'm going to slide, uh, style the slider button class, margin top, 30 pixels. Next, I'll do slider button, button like this. Um, let me say background color. Yeah, I'll select this one, this red, and the color of the text will be white. Border radius, I don't want any border radius, so I will say it will be zero. Then the padding, I will say 1.5 and 2 RM. And also, I'm going to increase the font size, then refresh, okay my bad uh this here is a class so i need to put the period in front then when i refresh this is how it's looking like okay here i need to write color I refresh yeah um i say imagine right 15 pixel to bring some space between the two buttons yeah so finally i guess i'm gonna style a button two say color then i'll say background color will be white so i'm gonna give this second button a different background color yeah so now this is how it's looking like so i can change this text here instead of writing first slide label i can write coding coding river for example or here I can say carousel slider. Well, thanks for viewing. Then refresh. Yeah. All right. So guys, that was it concerning how you can add a slider to your web page. Okay, you can, after creating the navigation bar, you can add a slider using Bootstrap. So I hope this video was informative and uh, thanks for viewing. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Let's meet in the next video.